Hey guys and welcome back. So today we will be trying to recreate the scene from Iron Man 1 where Tony Stark first tries on his Iron Man suit and scans his surroundings. In this scanning sequence, he scans in the objects in his workshop as well as some of his awesome sports cars. So we will try and replicate the sports car scene by scanning model cars without the use of a marker or image target. But Ritz, how do we establish our augmented reality functionality without a marker? Well, we use a markerless AR feature using Vuforia's upgraded model targets for detection and tracking. We spoke about model targets in an early lecture on Vuforia 8 updates. So essentially, we spoke about how the old version of model targets where you had to laboriously and manually scan each and every object using an object scanning app. So this involved placing your object on a marker template which would assist with the tracking of the pose of your object whilst you scanned it. I won't lie, it was quite a pain in the b**** and depending on your lighting conditions, it may not work in some cases. Now with the new version of model targets, I must say, the process has been greatly streamlined. So instead of manually scanning the object, you just need to upload its CAD or 3D model into the model target generator and through the power of deep learning, you have a target that can be uploaded into Vuforia for detection. Simple right? So let's get right into it. Before I get started with this Vuforia tutorial, if you are interested in learning more about augmented reality, then I have three courses that you can check out. One is the complete course on AR with Vuforia, and the other is the second course on integrating augmented reality with the Internet of Things. And the third course is my AR Core Masterclass. If you want to be an AR expert, then check out the links down below. Okay, so first we're going to continue from the video where we have Vuforia in Unity already set up. If you're still not sure what to do, then please refer back to my previous videos. Best Practices for Model Targets So before you set up model targets, I recommend you check out the site which explains the best practices for developing AR apps with this technology. The link to the page is library.vuforia.com forward slash content video library en articles solutions and best practices for scaling model targets. I'll have the link in the description down below. So a couple of things to keep in mind with model targets is that you can move your view around the object, but you can't move the object itself. This is because of the way they're structured, the tracking algorithm. The next one says that the objects that are in a single uniform color are difficult to track, even though they can be reliably detected. It comes down to how well the tech can distinguish between the various features. Moving on, they mentioned that the object that you are detecting must be complex with sufficient geometric detail. This is so that the track can be able to distinguish between the various sides. So coke cans and soccer balls are out of the question. But cars, engines, machinery will meet this requirement. The object you are detecting must be non-flexible and rigid. So this means that there should be preferably no moving parts, as this will reduce the chances of detection. The algorithm is not so advanced or optimized for moving parts on the model. And lastly, they recommend that your model match your CAD model as much as possible. Practically speaking, it makes sense as so to optimize detection. So they mentioned that the model target technology can tolerate up to 20% deviation between the real and virtual objects. Target Generator to get started, head over to developer.vuforia.com forward slash downloads forward slash tool and this is where we'll download the model target generator. This is the tool that will help you to create the target for detection and tracking. As mentioned before that it uses deep learning to train the model for detection. Click this link to download, make sure you signed in if you haven't already and agree to the license. The installation process is pretty straightforward. So once you are done, you can open it up. I already have some models that I've trained before. And to create a new model, we'll just click this button right over here. Now CAD model is the directory to our CAD or 3D file. 
and we'll get to this in just a bit. The rest of the fields just fill in automatically. Getting the CAD file. So for this exercise, you can use any 3D CAD model as long as you have the actual model. I will just be using a normal teacup because everyone has a teacup at home, right? If you're able to, you can design your own CAD model and 3D print this model. You know, for all those advanced students. To get the model, Google Teacup and Saucer Free 3D Model. You can also browse these two sites, free3d.com and TurboSquid. I prefer using TurboSquid because they have higher quality models. But what is nice is that they have free 3D CAD models that you can use as well. You can filter for free models right over here. You can select any model here that represents an object that you already have or you can 3D print. I will choose this coffee cup over here. This model looks good and should work for our demonstration. It's not the ideal model for detection because it's not too complex geometrically, but it will do the job. Click download, login if you haven't already, and then we can select the format of our model that we want. Both FBX and OBJ will work in Unity. I'll download the test with .obj. Once downloaded, unzip your CAD model and you'll see your materials and object file. Back in Model Generator. Now remember these empty fields. Click select and navigate the .obj file that we just downloaded. Click Model Target and it'll load our CAD model. In the editor to get the right orientation, we can select Model Attributes and changes so that our object has been orientated correctly. For this one, up vector Z does the job. For the scale, you can test various settings. I'll choose the centimeter scale. You don't need to worry about missing color information for now. Looking at guide views, reorientate your model as how you want to detect it in real life. Guide view will create an outline guide for you to align your detections when we run or deploy our app. So this looks good. You can have multiple guides, but you can only select one when you run or deploy your app. Good. Then once you're done, we can go ahead and generate model target. We'll check if everything is correct as well as our directory and then click continue. Just be aware that you have a limited amount of models that you can generate. This output file over here is the target database that we can drag and drop back into Unity. Fufoya model targets setup. With Vuforia already set up, go to Game Object, Vuforia, Model Targets, and then import the target database. Okay, so open up the folder where we've generated our model target, and just drag and drop the Unity package anywhere into Unity. Now instead of the default Vuforia Mars model target, let's change it to Coffee Cup Database. So this target database is analogous to having your own image target marker, but in this case, we have a 3D marker. Let's add in a new 3D game object, like a cube, to test if our detection is working. Before we run it, select Model Target under Guide View Mode, select Guide View 2D. And this is so that we have guides for our detections. Under Guide View, you can select any one of the guide views that we've created earlier in the Model Target Generator. And then show bounding box and preserve child size. Save it, run it, and let's see what happens. Now we just need to align our guide view with our own object for detection to happen. And if detection was successful, then we have a cube that is augmented onto our teacup. Now instead of viewing a cube, let's augment the actual teacup on the cup target. To do this, copy the coffee cup.fbx or .obj into Unity and drag it into our hierarchy. Next, drag it as a child of the model target and let's resize. Once it's perfectly aligned, we can once again save and play. So as you can see, we have a pretty quick detection close up and tracking works fairly well. Deploying to Android. If you're happy with the result, you can deploy to Android in both settings, then build and run. So detection was quite seamless. 
tracking is decent but not perfect. This is because we are dealing with a geometrically non-complex object. If we change this object to a car, we'll achieve better tracking accuracy. You can find a wide variety of car models on TurboSquid. They are high quality models, so you can expect them to cost a bit. However, you might find free models on the site. Okay, so I hope this lecture worked for you. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next lecture. If you are interested in learning more about augmented reality, then I have three courses that you can check out. One is the complete course on AR with Vufoya, and the other is the second course on integrating augmented reality with the Internet of Things. And the third course is my AR Core Masterclass. If you want to be an AR expert, then check out the links down below.